This is Mike Callahan, Dr. Fallfinder, and welcome to part three of our special Butterscotch.com 10-part series on Internet Explorer 8. Now, in this segment, I'm going to take a look at in-private browsing. This is a new feature in Internet Explorer 8 for those times when you want to browse privately. Now, normally when you open up a web page, it automatically saves history information, cookies, temporary internet files, and more to your hard drive where it can be visible. Now you can get to in private browsing by clicking on safety and in private browsing. You can click over here on tools and in private browsing, or you can also right click on a tab, say new tab. And when the new tab opens up, here's an option here to open an in private browsing window. So whichever way is easiest for you, is the way to go. Now, with in private browsing turned on, you see this indicator up here in private, and it helps prevent Internet Explorer from storing data about your browsing session, and that includes temporary internet files, history, cookies, and other data. The toolbars and extensions are disabled by default, and you can browse in here, and nothing will be saved. And when you're done, all you have to do to close it is simply close this window. And now you're back here in regular browsing mode. But once again, just to show you, if I go to in private browsing, it opens up a window and it shows this graphic right here to show you that you're in an in private browsing session. So this is a new feature in Internet Explorer 8. And that concludes part three. 